Good morning, and these friends. These friends, it's always a pleasure to say hello uh, from the land of the Maya. Now we are going to to talk about the dates from the 4 to the 10 of July, you know, 2021. I was uh, the other day, uh, you know, meditating about what is the the, the real uh, message that we are transmitting to to you because there are so much to transmit but uh, you know one of the most important in um, trust references that that we need to again to see with with a new perspective is precisely is to go back to the to the codex to the original books that the mayans wrote in in hieroglyphics so for for this time in in preparing preparation for the Maya New Year, you know, who is going to happen between the, the 11 and to the 16 of July, that we invite you to, to participate in these five meditations and the ceremony. Uh, this is a very important message for today. So I went there and, and checking, you know, what, what is the message that in this time is very important. So I, I will show you this. This is a, a, a very important uh, way to teach with the Mayan Codex. I want you to see first, first of all, this is a great teacher, Mayan teacher, a priest, and this is a woman, a priestess. In a, the great uh, sacred symbolism refers to the sun and to the moon. In other words, sacred masculine force and sacred feminine force. The two of them have something uh, between them who is a kind of weaving between them. And they have uh, in, in both hands the, the mother, we can call the mother and we can call the father. They are swing, you know, doing the swing, you know, in the weaving. There is like a, that's a beautiful weaving who represents our destiny or who represents is one of us in a process of our spiritual awakening. As you see, the mother here shows you the symbol of the infinite. She is, you know, the symbol of Ixchel, our great mother on earth. But at the same time, the symbolism of the mother heart of the earth is Mukane, and at the same time, representation of lady of the cosmos you know our mother in the cosmos is can leoch the father you know has in his uh, forehead the symbol of the sun who represents the force of the inner transformation okay so this part i want you to comprehend very 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 well that with these two forces we are able right now in this moment of our life to begin a process of the inner transformation. And here we see in, in the upper part, the symbols of the two bars who makes in uh, mathematics number 10 plus four dots who makes the 14 number. The 14 number represents the seven forces and plus seven forces. We can say seven forces visible and seven forces invisible. Seven plus seven is 49. The mother, the mother earth is doing a, a very important process now with all human beings. The forces that we can feel and we can connect it with, there are seven forces that we can call the seven levels of the bodies or the seven chakras. And this is connected with the symbol that is over the head of the mother who represents the moon. The moon, the sacred feminine, is the one who is guiding the process right now. And here is the message. We have these, you know, five symbols. You know, one, two, three, four, and five. The, the meaning when you make the union, the link of these five Mayan days, represents this uh, great phrase walking with the spirit 
of the mother and the father, we can get the inner transformation to get our frequency high or the awareness of our consciousness, but through the father and through the mother. So how important is this message for us? Because with those two forces in balance, without to trust in the, in the great and sacred energy of the father, in perfect balance with the mother, we cannot get that. So the Mayas show us very, very, in a very clear way that walking with the spirit of father and mother, who is in this case, and we can get the transformation, the forces of the sun with the forces of the moon. When we, when we open our seven chakras, connecting with the sun, but at the same time, the chakras are connected with the earth, with the moon. And then we can arise, we can elevate, we can high our frequencies in our seven levels of energy, in our seven bodies, in our seven chakras. But it's through the process, that mystery that is inside of the weaving. You are a sacred weaving just in the hands of father mother and they know very well your process i cannot cheat the divine forces even i say to one of my friends what are my spiritual state is god knows my spiritual state of being i cannot cheat father and mother they know my destiny they know my weaving that's why this is very important to trust in these two forces and to walk with the spirit of father mother in order to transform and to transmute in our everyday life and in our sacred path with the intention to arise, to elevate our consciousness and to get the self-realization. So I think that this is an in order to prepare ourselves for the great moment that we are close to receive in July 16. The preparation between the 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, giving us the opportunity to transform, to transmute with the father and mother, and then to receive the high potency of the light in July 16. So let's do our connection with these two great forces. I invite you to close your eyes. Father, Mother, thank you, thank you, thank you for to allow the Mayan teachers of the light, the great scribes, to wrote, to draw in the codexes this magnificent, this magnificent sacred knowledge and wisdom that today we have a path to follow, to walk with precision, with foundation, very clear. Please help all of us as a humankind. Please help all the ones who participate in these Mayan updates. Extend, extend, extend the wisdom, the sacred knowledge, the awakening in our beings, in our hearts, in our memories because we are living special times thank you father thank you father thank you father so we can call the energy of the sun with the mantra and king
father, son, in this beautiful moment, in this beautiful and special moment, we ask you to send your light, your healing, your wisdom to all my brothers and sisters. Open their hearts, open their minds. We need to work. Like in this beautiful representation in the Codex, we have the sun and we have the moon. We have the sacred masculine supporting the sacred feminine. And the sacred feminine supporting the sacred masculine. Our destiny between father and mother. Mother is shell. Mother is mukane heart of the earth. Give all of us, give humankind, give all brothers and sisters, participants, in these Mayan updates, the opportunity to clarify, to heal themselves in order to receive your blessings of the light in the Maya New Year. Open us to receive your love and your light, Mother Moon, Mother Earth, to do the mantra U, to call the lunar forces, the full moon energies, to activate the sacred feminine within us. Divine Mother, Ixel, Shmukane, Sacred Feminine, hold all of us in your hands, in your heart, in your eyes, in your sacred energy, and guide us in the sacred path of the activation of our consciousness in this time. Thank you, Father, Son. Thank you, Divine Forces. Thank you to the forces that we can see in the sun and they are invisible in the moon. The mystery of the sacred knowledge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We send love and light abundance, faith, healing, kindness, balance, harmony, and peace to our planet, all humankind, animals, trees, fruits, seas, rivers, mountains, waterfalls, lakes, caves, stones, crystals, heart of the earth. Receive it, receive it, receive it. So be it, so it is, it is done. So be it, so it is, it is done. So be it, so it is, it is done. In la ketch, a la ketch.
Now take a breath. A second breath. And a third breath. I want you just imagine that in your right hand, you have the power of the sun. In your left hand, you have the power of the moon. And imagine these two forces finally are one. Finally are one with you. Take a breath. And now say thank you to your personal teachers, your spiritual guides. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take another breath, you can open your eyes. Uh, in this time, I just want to invite you with the open heart that uh, we are living special times, especially connecting with the Mayan calendar, the Kukulkan's pyramid and all what is involved this uh, Maya New Year is very important to take this opportunity to manifest that we are with the light and we are light. So we invite you to come to participate with us and receive the best from our hearts. In La Quech, 